Hi everyone, welcome back to bankexamstory.com and day, today we are going to start with the day 23rd of 5 minutes vocabulary in which you are going to learn 5 new words and how the words are used, what is the form of the word and different things about that word. Okay, so let's start with the word stringent. Stringent is a very common word and a fancy word for strict okay strict and stringent have the same meaning strict is quite common stringent is used in the written language to explain something which is quite harsh or rigid like people thought that demonetization was a stringent idea it was a very strict idea of government of india to demonetize the currency of the nation okay uh, because stringent is providing us additional information or the quality of a noun because let me tell you that my father is very stringent stringent is uh, telling me about the quality of my father so what is it it becomes an adjective adjective is a word that explains or qualify a noun like regulation regulation is a noun how do we know it is a noun because it is ending with t i o n regulation is a noun and the word used before it is stringent stringent which makes it an adjective okay so the synonyms of stringent will be rigid harsh uncompromising uncompromising is someone uh, means you don't like to compromise you go to a doctor uh, you go to see a person who is very stringent who is very stubborn so he is uncompromising he is not ready to compromise with the situation antonyms will be lenient because we expect that person to be not very harsh or strict then he becomes lenient calm <clears throat> flexible and tolerant moving to the next word which is convene convene is a verb which means the activity of coming together for a meeting like uh, your employer <clears throat> sends a notification that we all are going to assemble in the conference room for a meeting so that activity of assembling for a meeting is called convene convene means to uh, assemble and meet the HOD has convened, convened a secret meeting. It means the HOD has assembled the people for a secret meeting. The synonyms will be gather because when we uh, come together, we are gathering. Assemble, summon or convoke. Antonyms will be disperse. When you uh, are coming together, you are coming very close. And disperse means going away from each other. That is dispersing like here and there and here and there and here that is called disperse scatter separate adjourn or divide the third word we have here is consternation consternation means the feeling of anxiety what is it it is a noun because it ends with t i o n okay so it is a noun which represents the feeling of anxiety of being anxious or being distressed or uh, worried okay like this person is in a state of consternation which means he is feeling anxious he is feeling worried the horrific nightmare filled the women with consternation that the woman had a nightmare and after that she was filled with consternation she was feeling anxious all the time the synonyms will be dismay distress panic and hysteria Antonyms will be peace because when you are not at peace, you are anxious. Security, confidence and tranquility. Moving to the next word which is recede. Recede is a verb which means pair piche lena. In Hindi it means pair piche lena ya vapis jana. For example, mm, you are roaming around with your friends on the road and your parents think that you are in the college studying 
or attending your lectures and suddenly you see your father coming from the other side so what do you do you take your steps back if you are moving in this way and your father is coming from this way when you see your father and you don't want to be noticed by your father then you come back you take your steps back that is called receding receding is also used for the waves when you go to beaches the waves come on the beach and then they go back that activity is also called recede meaning going back after the flood water receded it means once the flood water was uh, once the flood water came back people searched for their homes synonyms would be retreat move back diminish or lessen antonyms will be extend because recede means going back and opposite will be extending coming forward increase continue grow or advance in the last word for today is impetus impetus means dhakka in hindi it means dhakka you force something to go ahead you push something like this person's car is not working so he is applying impetus he is applying force and push okay that is called impetus when you push something the crime rate was the rate was the impetus impetus force or push for the hiring of 100 new police officer in our city synonyms will be energy because when you push something you put in your energy momentum drive or boost antonyms will be blockage because when you are applying impetus when you are forcing something to go ahead you are giving it a start but antonym will be blockage you stop it discouragement hindrance or obstacle so this is all about today's video the day 23rd and if you like it like this video don't forget to press the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to use these words in your regular vocabulary and comment section is available to use these sentences and drop your sentences in the comment section so that i can reply if you have any particular query then you can call on 9067201777 sorry okay so i will see in the next video till then keep practicing and work hard